Hey everybody. What's up? It's your girl Miss Bar Beauty Bar Beauty, whatever you want to call me, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Princess and you're watching Black Beauty TV. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in my car. I am on my way or about to go get my hair done. So, I don't know how this video is going to go, but I'm just doing whatever I need to do. Oh, look at how I miss. Um, I don't want to say I'm about to be late, but my appointment's at 11. It's like 10, 26, 10, 25. Um, it's cold. I ain't really got no jacket. It's 31 degrees out here. Done dusted a little snow. I sound like Barry White. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and get my hair cut, trimmed, washed, whatever, and start my new hair care journey. So I'm getting my hair cut, um, mainly trying to get my ends trimmed so I can get all the de dead hair off. But I don't know how that's going to go because I don't know what she's going to tell me. I'm hoping that she's really going to assess my hair and make sure my hair is good. But, you know, I'm just going to get it trimmed pretty short not pretty short but like a blunt cut bob maybe that's what my friend suggested i should do so i'm gonna do that and then do like a, a middle part so i can like switch my part over whenever i feel like it and um so yeah so i'm excited i really am excited call me corny because i'm excited that i'm getting my hair cut but it's just a a journey i'm ready to start this journey of hair growth hair <laughs> hair rejuvenation i'm just letting y'all know how i feel on the way in which i feel excited and i feel a little nervous too but mainly excited because i'm like starting a journey because like and then my hair gonna be cute for a little bit you know like of course i'm gonna be excited so let me get on the road because i know it's getting late and late and late and late and late i will see y'all on the other side so i really did want to make this more of a vlog like video but i wasn't able to really record a lot in the actual salon i didn't really know their rules and stuff like that but i did get this little clip of me under the dryer um getting my hair kind of like set or whatever so like i said i got my hair done and this is actually the result of getting my hair silk pressed and straightened this is actually tomorrow will be a week um, that I've gotten this done like this side is a little wonky because low-key I was trying to like straighten it back out and I probably shouldn't have done that but um so this is actually my hair I would like show the back of it I don't know how I'm gonna do this hold on wait. let me just turn around the lady actually did not cut off a lot of my hair she really said that my hair wasn't as bad as i thought so she basically just cut my ends off overall i'm guessing my hair wasn't as bad i actually did get a picture of me when i first got it done and i'll insert that here but overall my hair was pretty healthy so i was actually happy about that so i really wanted to start my hair journey off by knowing what state my hair is really in and just have a good like foundation to start this journey this is what it's currently like now like i said this is like a one week of the silk press so like that no more no more messing up my hair okay y'all do have some like notes on my phone that i wanted to like just go over this is what i plan to do to start my hair journey and to put in place so i don't go back to the old things and the old habits the first thing that i want to do on um, this hair journey or just to get me started off on the right track is to create a regimen i used to have a, like a little regimen going on like a little routine but mm, i didn't i would just really do i would wash my hair every two weeks with shampoo and conditioner really didn't care which which shampoo conditioner i was using and then i would co-wash every so often like in between styles like if i had like 
did a puff or something and I had a lot of gel in my hair if I did something slick back I had a lot of gel in my hair so I go in and just try to rinse it out and get the conditioner in there just to refresh the hair but not really strip it of like it's oils and stuff i don't know okay so i really wanted to do uh create a regimen and that will mean means that i will create a night and day routine for my hair so like or nightly or just something that i'll do to my hair daily <clears throat> mainly at night and then do monthly treatments to my hair um and that will include uh deep deep conditioning or like doing like treatments and stuff like that to my hair and then also ex uh, uh, assess for growth and then or um, assess for further damage to my hair because I don't want to be doing something and it's really not helping my hair but I also want to know what I'm doing is actually helping my hair to grow. Next thing I want to do is make sure I create an in-depth wash day routine. Like me, literally my wash day routines will be me in the shower washing my hair. I wash my hair with a, a shampoo. Really don't matter what shampoo I have. I just what whatever's there in a the conditioner. I might deep condition. I might. I really didn't have like an in-depth in-depth wash day routine. Like I know I need to be deep conditioning and stuff like that. And that's part of the routine. So I do want to make sure I'm actually doing the best routine for my hair and not really being too lazy because doing hair you can't really be lazy so like i already know that like it's gonna take some work in order to get my hair to start growing again and start flourishing again and just start being it's healthy or get putting my hair back into a healthier state so the next thing i want to do is make sure i do protein treatment now i do need a protein treatment because my hair is I would always wonder like why my hair would shed so much I'm, even after just a brace you know even like after a brace style my hair would shed a lot in general but it was just like long strands of hair long strands not breakage but just literally shedding like from the follicle and you can even see a little bulb so I was just like I might need a protein treatment so I did get some products to help to do a protein treatment and i will do another video of all the products that i'm going to be using along my hair journeys and the next thing on my in my notes i have here is to re, uh to do regular appointments or have regular appointments with a professional every three months for trimming and professional treatments so i just want to i don't want to cut my own hair because i do not know what i'm doing like i don't want to cut off too much I don't want to I want my hair to look natural and flow naturally so I would much rather go to a professional to do my hair rather than try to do it myself like if I see like a little end or something I may snip it but anything major or just trimming because I know I still do have some split ends in my hair like I want to go and get that cut gradually just so I can make sure my hair my hair's growth is not being stunted so I do want to make sure I am going to a professional every so often to get my hair professionally treated and professionally styled. Next thing on my list is no low manip manipulation hairstyles. That is such a tongue twister y'all. That is such a tongue twister. So I, what I learned about my hair personally is that my hair thrives better when I'm leaving it alone because at this my hair has grown like i've cut my hair several times and my hair literally has grown just from me putting in a bun or putting it up putting it up and not really doing anything like take i just realized that not bothering my hair is what causes me the best results when, when it comes to growth um so i just want to leave my hair alone and just find some low manipulation hairstyles that will help me to um, maintain my my hair's length and produce growth in my hair. The next thing I do want to do is produce friction and on my hair by actually tying my hair up at night because I am bad about just going to bed. I've been wearing my bonnet and my wrap every night, y'all. So I'm so proud of myself. But that's something that I plan to do because, I, like I said, like I could have like. I do have like breakage or shorter hair in the middle because of how I sleep and also how I put my hair up in buns and puffs and ponytails all the time and it caused that tension on my hair and it caused breakage and you know that's just how 
things happen. I also want to reduce heat on my hair. The only times that I do plan on putting heat in my hair is if I am trying to like deep condition and things like that. And um, also when I go to my the hairstylist every three months to assess my hair, of course she's going to put heat in it to straighten my hair out and stuff. So what I know about my hair so far is really that I'm low porosity. I kind of knew that my hair, it just took forever for it to actually get wet and get saturated. But I didn't realize that meant that my hair was low porosity. I just thought that it just meant I need to keep my hair under the water long. What I learned so far is that porosity of your hair is it makes a big difference when it comes down to styling and how to treat your hair and things of that nature because if you do a twist out and your hair is wet that twist out ain't gonna come out right if your hair is still wet which I learned the hard way because my hair would still be damp even overnight after letting it air dry overnight so I'm just like my hair is still wet this is not gonna turn out right and I cannot wear this to work looking crazy so I'll be I learned the hard way but my hair is definitely low porosity it takes a very long time for my hair to get wet and it takes a very long time for my hair to dry I hate blow drying my hair because I never can get my hair fully dry so I did learn that my hair is low porosity and um and what that basically means is that my hair has a hard time taking in moisture and then it also has a hard time releasing that moisture so once it's in it's pretty much in but it's just like i really gotta work to get that get it in so well, the next thing is uh that i know about my hair is that i do need a protein treatment because of the shedding and just because of the months and months years and years of damage that has done has been done to my hair and the, the lack of care i'm just going to do a protein treatment not now but um before my next style i'll do a protein the thing treatment. i know about my hair is that low manipulation hairstyles work best for me so i already I already talked about that earlier so i'm not really going to get into detail on that i want to share this journey on youtube like my journey to growing my hair just treat my hair properly just doing the best i can with my hair and recording it and doing all this kind of stuff it's number one it's kind of fun because you know it gives me content to post but two it's it's also because i can use my platform as a form of account accountability like if y'all know that i'm supposed to be taking care of my hair and then y'all see me in a vlog with my hair in a bun and y'all see me going to bed without wrapping my hair like you know i'm just like you know i can't do that for youtube i can't do that so it just basically it's just a form of accountability to um it accountability using this as a resource for other people and to record the progress is definitely some of the reasons why i want to document this on my channel but also just to get help from the other natural natural girls and natural women in the community they may know more than me that may be on the journey with me that may say hey i'm low porosity too let me tell you what i did to my hair or i can be like hey i'm low porosity i'm doing using this product in my hair and this is what it did and somebody else could see this product be like see see me and see the products that i'm using or see my hair texture and be like hey her texture is similar to mine let me try that product like it's about like i guess community when it comes down to a journey because we need help like your girl is gonna need help because i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing and there's more than one way to do things but i'm just saying like i would love to get some ideas and tips from other women in the natural hair community to help me to stick to this journey because y'all i'm too old to not be knowing how to take care of my hair <laughs> mainly it's not really being too old but it's just i never prioritize taking care of my hair and i really want to learn how to take care of my hair better and um i feel like with this journey like on this journey i can share this with y'all and y'all can help boost me up when i'm doing something good or get on to me when you like uh oh, girl you need to i've seen you in that puff two weeks in a row get it out you know like just you know just hold me accountable and just to also be a fun way to um stick to this journey and to document my journey
that is all for this video so catch me in the next video where i go a little more in depth on the products that i'm going to be using along this journey so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any tips for me please leave a comment down below don't forget to thumbs up this video and hit that notification bell so you'll know every time i upload a video and also don't forget to subscribe so once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye